Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to a new Let's Play, a new Let's Play of Mass Effect. And well, one of the reasons why we're doing this is because I've actually never touched the series before. I've, I barely remember anything about this game um, from like the one uh, Let's Play I did kind of skim through of the game. Uh, whenever it first came out so many years ago but um <clears throat> but yeah uh one of the reasons why i've never touched this game before is because i'm just so goddamn biased on third person shooters i don't really like them i don't i don't know why it's just i can't really aim with them really that good um and you know and it's just it's a really un it's a really unenjoyable experience for me it's nothing really against them you know it's not like oh they're you know made in a bad design it's just i don't really personally like them in my personal taste just because i can't aim more shit you know uh most of the time in third person shooters games and they generally are a bad experience for me but with this game, it's so much more I've heard about, or and I've just kind of also seen about, um, more about the combat system, and hopefully I can, you know, you know, hopefully we can, you know, get past the combat, and, um, you know, I don't know if there's, is there a difficulty setting, uh, gameplay, combat difficulty, normal, casual, um, I'm gonna keep it on normal for now, but um, I'm gonna keep it on normal for now. But uh, if uh, if it does get too intense, I will go down to pussy mode. <laughs> anyways, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump into uh, Mass Effect, a game that I've never played before in my life, and I've don't really know what I'm gonna go experience. So. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. All right. Classified information requested. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Oh, I. Oh, I see. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. With just a click of a mouse. Um. Uh. Please yeah, let's log in to access your profile. Let's just get let's just change his first name and leave him as a, the generic, you know, last name Shepherd. I believe you can actually only I I I don't know if you could actually change it just then. I didn't even try it, but I don't I don't even know. <laughs> I had no idea. Like I I clicked on it just then just Warning. to see data corruption detected. Oh, oh, my data's corrupted. What you gonna do about that, son? Huh? What Please you gonna reconstruct profile? <laughs> Confirm preset. You, you're gonna system. go into my data and reconstruct my shit. Um. Okay. Uh. Both of your parents was your childhood was. Uh. Calmness. Okay. So all. Okay. I get it. These are like prehistory background. So spacer. Both your parents was both in in the uh, alliance military. Your childhood was spent in on the ships and stations as they were transferred from post uh, from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Uh, let's uh, I don't know. Yeah. Confirm psychological profile. Uh, soul survivor. Oh my goodness, soul soul survivor, war hero, ruthless. Okay. Uh, through your military career, you do, do. Okay, so you basically like a cold hard badass that you don't really care about others' feelings, okay? Um, and really just, yeah, the military is always goes to you first, yeah. <gasps> War hero, uh. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah, soul survivor. Confirm military specialization. Uh, soldier, engineer. Adept, Infiltrator, Sentinel, Vanguard. Okay, uh, Biotic Warriors. They're especially de deadly at short range. They use pistols and shotguns. You can specialize in medium armor. Okay, that sounds like my, um... Yeah, okay, yeah, it's like... 
I either want to go for like like short range or just like be a sniper long range. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See, if I was kind of like playing a little bit more on my own, I would go with infiltrator just because I I, I love you know sniping and I do love that long lane long range um you know type of action but i don't know that seems a little bit too slow paced uh for uh a let's play um but this seems like it's a uh, nice and fun so let's go ahead and go with vanguard Confirm so um facial identification um uh all right um a cycle oh god no how do how do i no, back. Confirm facial identification. Uh... You know what? I don't really care. Profile reconstruction complete. I don't really care. If that- if we end up with that phase, I don't really care. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Um... Okay, yeah, normal, um, squad only, squad and auto load. Um, you know what, no, I'm gonna turn that off for now. Uh, normal, I guess, uh, active subtitles, yes, auto save, yes, um, accept. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. I'm sorry, I wouldn't be able to read that in <laughs> in, in that amount of time. Terrace Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. I wonder if this is just like a cutscene, like black bars. Hopefully it is. Because this is really fucking annoying, to be honest. <laughs> Why are these stupid fucking black bars here? Okay, yeah, I didn't keep that face. I'm actually kind of glad. I'm kind of glad I didn't keep that face. I, I didn't like that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Awesome. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <coughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. <laughs> Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. 
You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. <laughs> you are overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. <laughs> Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, um... Press, uh... Okay, that's gonna... Player Tutorials. Alright. Okay, um... I, I need to go somewhere, so... And do I hold shift if I want to... Oh, no. Getting dread. <laughs> I guess there's no Commander. way to walk. Like we, we have to like just run. march everywhere. Heading down to see the captain. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. All right. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing at this point. How do I open this door? Crazy. Do I open the door? He would take okay. Not his choice. Oh, hold on. what is a Spectre? Is it, you know, what this guy is? I'm guessing it's what one of those guys is. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. Yeah. You know of it. It's become something of a symbol. <laughs> to be honest, he sounds like a robot. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. <laughs> That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity yeah. made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. Yeah. There's more, Shepard. I was, Nihilus isn't just here I was wondering. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. Hmm. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. 
Shit, I, I didn't mean to fucking did that. see what you have to offer. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills. I, I thought that I, I thought that was gonna be human, asked a little bit more. Care that you can do the job. Mika, yeah. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself. I, I didn't realize <laughs> that it was gonna be like an asshole you remark, kind of kinda like that. Secure uh, the beacon shit. and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us at school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. Okay. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean We're just going around in circles at this point. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Dim pixels. Get down. traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 oh that made him twitch it, it made, made his little uh, uh 17 things minutes out twitch. Captain. no other alliance ships in the area what the fuck do you what would you call those Take things in, i don't point. know this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Okay. We got it. Beacon. I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Alright. We are approaching drop point two. How do I do things? Huh, hold on. Alright, yeah, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm getting used to the controls here. Oh, wow. Sticky cover. Okay. Or it does... Oh, or... Oh, go into crouch? Does it... Oh, yeah, go into crouch puts you into, like... Okay, I see now. 
I see what's going on. Uh. Okay. I don't know what I just picked up, but I picked up something. Where do I go? What do I do? Ah! Okay, well, I'm g I'm seeing a point right here. I'm guessing I'm needing to follow it. Um, over around this tree. I'm get. <laughs> I'm glad I went over there though. Okay, and these are like more dialogue options. Um, and I, I guess I'm gonna spend a little bit experience on. Uh, you. see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, so... I wonder how I equip these qu quick slots. Hmm. Over there! Got the spread. Got some burning bodies here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, there we go. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Ah! Oh my god! What? <laughs> What is this game right now? Oh, did I just throw? Him, did I just throw a grenade? Ah, a survivor! Oh, nice. Impalement. Nice and medieval. Y you know, whenever it's nice and, you know, whenever you're far in the future, it's really nice to stay medieval at times. Um. Hello. Oh. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I don't think that, uh... You needed my help at all just then. I barely did anything at all. You the one in charge here, sir? 
Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside Geth. the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Uh, Take all. Really simple. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Oh, wow. Uh... Huh. Place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. And they really do like impalement. Oh, that, those, those things must be turning oh God, the bodies they're into... They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Zombie, zombie time! Zombie, zombie time! Oh, God. How do I hear everyone again? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I know, I, I figured I kind of just threw a mine there. I keep on throwing mines by accident. Uh, what the fuck? I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I see. I didn't know if I had to hit him. Humans. Oh, okay. thank the maker. Shit. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was okay, yeah, you fucking, like, took a head in LSD impossible. or something, Nihilus was then. with us in the Normandy before the attack. Could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? Yeah, speaking of, 
It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. All right, there, the fucking the wacko. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit yeah. unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Uh, sadly. Is madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. <laughs> I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. I can't shut him up. All right, now. Williams, take us to the <laughs> spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. <laughs> I'm the only sane the one left. Of eternity. Uh, Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the vacation. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You're all just fucking crazy. I'm the only sane one left here. Nice. Oh, hello there. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council <laughs> thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <laughs> of course. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Holy shit! Uh, that looks like a giant cockroach! Giant flying cockroaches, man! Oh god! We're all doomed! We're all fucking doomed! Ah, cockroaches! Ah! Oh god! Oh god! up there um all right well give me a quick second here You know what, I think I will just get used to using that because that's so much simpler. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot, I'm one of you, I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. Yeah. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Oh, well, your eyes your just went all fucking relaxed. weird there. Oh, God. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I, 
Just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Yeah, right now, there's no I time to, like, scold him for, ago. like, working sleeping on the job. It feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It I'm guessing it was that it giant was cockroach. Huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. I know, EDM, it it's terrible. The attack came a few minutes later. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Oops. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. We need to find that beacon before it's too yeah. late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Perfect solution, man. That's... Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Like, oh, did I hear something? Kind of stupid on my part. Oh, God, wrong bear cover. Oh, God, I feel like I just made a terrible mistake. I made a terrible mistake. Oh, God. Everyone, I think I made a terrible mistake here. Uh, oh, I'm not reading. Okay, it says use beyond bionic throw. Oh, okay then. Uh, get behind cover. Really? They're both dead. Okay, well... <laughs> All right then. Run in through the space on time. Do 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 do. <laughs> Hold on, let me just uh, get my energy back here for a second. D 
do 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 I knew that was a bad mistake. I should have sniped some of them off with my pistol. Uh, resume last save. Bring it on. I don't know what I'm shooting at, but I'm just shooting at it. I think those are uh, enemies down there. Did I level up at all? Yes, I did. Okay, um... Put a point in pistols, um... Space and time. Well, not exactly running through space and time right now, but. Oops, accidentally just used a meta gel that I did not need to use. Uh, because I investigated that. Hello! Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. I've lost shields. Oh shit! Bring it on. <gasps> oh god! So, okay, so two more. Aha. Awesome. Awesome as a possum, as awesome as a possum could be awesome. Alright, so let's continue onwards here. And of course, we run into some more dickheads.
secured. All right. You know, as they actually get a little bit more harder and stuff. I was just being an idiot there. <laughs> Alright, yeah, see. What the fuck? Mouse! Stop mov moving so slow! I, <laughs> I should have uh, solved that a lot faster than what I did, but alright. Um, it's telling me to go this way. How this way? What do you mean this way? X marks X marks the spot. I guess X does mark the spot. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Yeah, get her out of that shit. Shepard! No, don't touch him! It's too dangerous! Oh my god. It was like a thousand it was like a thousand movies all in ten seconds. I mean my brain would have been fried too. Oh god, the giant cockroach! Actually it's more like a giant octopus in space. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. That was a pretty understandable reaction. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Not great. <laughs> Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. More like a nightmare. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. I mean, <laughs> death, destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. 
How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are yeah. we gonna tell him? I, had I was about dream. to say, it's like... Like, you oh my god, like I... Like I took a really bad, like... Protein technology, bad pill and I tripped on this... Ancient weapon of mass really hard. Whatever. whatever. God damn it. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation. Well, actually, it's more like, oh, oh my God, these uh, these uh, the radio waves caused me to war. trip out. He has the secrets from the beacon. Yeah. He is an army of Geth at his command. <laughs> I don't he know. Won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Uh. <sighs> You're right. Yeah. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right, and well, with that, I think I'm going to actually uh, make a hard save. But yes, with that, I'm going to end the episode here. If you like the episode, please give it a like. And if you want to have live updates, please follow me on my Twitter or down below. But yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, what fun is there in making sense?